It is a packed pit area here at Stafford as we prepare for another open modified event. It's the Bud Light Open 80. And we're going to start off the pit preview with the modifieds and with our own Nicola Rose. Ryan Priest coming off of quite a hectic month on the national stage. You may have seen his name in some mean tweets recently, but you know, coming back to Stafford, it's funny because a lot of that stuff you see on social media, the people that come to bat for you when something happens on the national stage are all people from New England and Stafford for the most part. So it's got to feel good to be able to come back home after a month like you've had. And you know, everyone here for the most part is supporting you and you've got a fast new car for tonight. Usually your number dictates, you know, who you're driving for. If it was the six, it was the late Eddie Partridge and the three, the bowler old blue. But tonight, the 40 is back. That usually means you're behind the wheel of your own car. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's really cool. Um, obviously, we still have the six in there. Uh, you know, a lot of, I mean, it's just different without Eddie. So um, we were able to come here and test and, and work through some things, and it's been really good. So I'm looking forward to tonight. and. Um, Seeing what this car brings when the when the sun goes down, because I think we all know Stafford tends to become a different animal. Uh, back to a family-owned team, right? So it's uh, myself, my father, and just the same guys I've had for 15 years. So um, we got Hunt Brothers on the car and Call Before You Dig 811. So it's been a, it's a lot of great support from those guys, and and uh, see what we can get done here today. There you go, Ryan Priest. Well, we're happy to have him here tonight with his family-owned number 40 car, and hopefully we'll see him in victory lane later on. Now we're going to throw it to Bonsa Tufa. It's been an up and down season for Teddy Hodgson, but most recently it's in the upward direction. After a couple rough weeks, you got a fifth place run the SK feature last week. What were you able to take away from that and what can you carry on over to the next few weeks? Yeah, um, the entire crew, uh, Michael Sullivan, Dan Avery and all the boys, um, they've been really working their asses off, to be frank, um, trying to get this thing um, able to compete up front. We've been able to do that last week. Um, you know, we just had such a rough start to the season trying uh, you know just getting in wrecks and silly stuff that we shouldn't have been in so um, you know I'm, I'm really proud of my guys we're able to finally have a fast car it's just been it's just been tough where we've been starting because of the handicap system so um, you know we'll rattle off a couple good finishes here and then we'll start more towards the front and we'll be uh, we'll be right there to challenge um, I know last week was definitely a, a big step in the right direction so hopefully we can continue that momentum Hopefully it's the start of good things to come for Teddy Hodge and in the red 22 SK and the white and orange 55 Open Modified. We're going to keep traveling through the pits and see who Nicola Rose is with this time. A winning combination here at Stafford tonight for our Bud Light Open Modified 80 event. Tommy Baldwin 7NY and Mike Christopher Jr. Now let's talk a little bit about your first Wheel and Modified Tour win at Jennerstown a couple weeks ago. There was a lot of pressure riding on you for that race. Doug Kobe had won in this car in the two races prior, so it looks like that pressure did good for you there in the end. Yeah, I came into that race knowing uh, obviously they won those two races with Doug and uh, Tommy brings the best of the best equipment, so uh, I knew I had a lot of pressure, but I knew I had to perform as well. So um, I went into that race with no other mindset other than to perform. And, you know, we came out and, and won. So that was great. And uh, now here we are again, a uh, different car. This was built this year. We ran at the Sizzler and kind of struggled a little bit. Uh, well, not struggle, but just not up to par with what Tommy and I wanted. So did some testing today. Uh, it felt really, really good. So uh, we'll go out in the heat race and see what it does. Michael Christopher Jr. is going to be a force tonight in both divisions. We're used to seeing him in the SK, but tonight he's here in the 7NY Tour Car as well. Now we're going to throw it to Bonza Tufa, who's standing with Michael Ray. Nicole, Michael Ray's had a quietly good year, and I say that he's the point leader. He's the only late mile driver to score a top five in every race this season. Kind of like last season, a good start. What's been the key to getting off to these good first month or two of the season? Uh, it's tough to say, you know, I mean, we just bring a good car to the track every week. We're being consistent, you know, maintaining our, uh, maintaining the, doing the same thing every week, you know, um, just trying to make sure that we're quick. Um, I don't know, it's really just a tribute to my team, I think, you know, we put in a lot of time. As Michael Ray looking to go five for five in the top five department and possibly get his second win of the season as he continues to lead the standings. I know it's early, but he is the late model point leader. Now let's go into pits with Nicola Rose with our next driver on the list. Alexandra Fern running at double duty tonight. She's coming off of a win two weeks ago in the limited late model. Here tonight, she has both the limited late model and the late model. Now last year, you started this car and turned a lot of heads, had to pass a lot of cars coming from the back in that race. but. 
Stafford has a program here where you can only start three races in a top tier division when you're committed to a bottom tier like the limited late models. So three races only, you have to pick them strategically. What made it be tonight here? Um, this is probably an unsatisfying answer, but when I did the race last year, it, it's not that it wasn't fun, but it certainly was a lot of running around. I didn't really get to spend time and think a lot about what the car was doing, uh, this car and the late, uh, the limited. So it was a lot of running around and get to spend time with my family and watched almost no racing except for my own. Not that it wasn't fun and not that I don't appreciate it, but tonight is a good night because there's no heats for the weekly division. That's part of it. And also part of it too is my dad and I have been thinking about it just, um, you know, wanted to get the limited going good. We won a couple weeks ago, so that certainly lifts up the spirits and makes us motivated. Um, and I know that everyone who helped me get the car together was really excited about it too. So um, that's kind of just part of it. We just kind of felt it was right. There's no rhyme or reason. We just felt like showing up. <laughs> this yellow number 12 late model has been to victory lane with Ryan Fern. Tonight it'll be Alexandra at the wheel and she's gonna see what she can do running in both divisions here tonight. Now we're going to throw it to Bonza Tufa, who's standing with Adrian Paradis. Adrian Paradis the third had a really good start to the year. You were battling for the lead last week. Didn't go quite as planned, I think it's fair to say. So the car was heavily damaged. So what did you guys do during the week to prepare for today? All I did was roll the back backup car from one side of the garage to the other and put a setup in it and changed a couple minor things. And we're here. Uh, you know, we're going to fix the backup car over the winter. So it was what we started last season, started 2020 with and wrecked on the back stretch. So coming into 2022, we said, well, let's start off with the backup car since we haven't had good luck the last two years and didn't have luck last week. So whether it's the primary car or the backup car, you can count on Adrian Paris III to be strong tonight in the street stock feature. And you can see how he and everybody else do tonight as we prepare for a Bud Light Open 80 night. If you're not here, we hope to see you here. If you are here, let's go to the booth and Ben Dodge.